Good evening guys, how's it going? This is Three Points Dave here. This is gonna be just a short video. <coughs> Excuse me, because I've got some things I gotta do yet. Um, this is gonna be a, a playoff video uh, vlog, if you will. It's gonna be about the uh, the, play, the playoff picks for the first round. So, here we go. The Stars against the Wild. I have the Stars in five games. Uh, two players come to mind when you think about the Dallas Stars. Uh, Jimmy Ben and Tyler Sagan. And, uh, you know, the reason I say Stars in the five is because maybe, you know, the, the first game Sagan might not come back, uh, you know, right away in the first year, in the first round of the playoffs. So then, you know, maybe the Wild win that. But at the same time, the Wild kind of limped in the playoffs, in, into the playoffs a little bit, and they're struggling to, to find the net, uh, to put the puck in. So I've got the... Uh, Stars in five. They've got good defense, like I said. They got Tyler Sagan, Jamie Ben, and the Wild are struggling to score. Hawks and Blues. Now, some of you might th might say, you know, three PD. What the hell are you talking about? But I've got the Blues in seven. You know what? I uh, I wouldn't bet against the Hawks taking out the Blues, but I'm gonna go with the Blues in seven simply because I'm tired of seeing the Hawks win every other year. Uh, they got a good team. Don't get me wrong, they do. But I kind of think this is the year where the Blackhawks, you know, they, they showed their wear and tear, and they become tired. And as a result, a, a, a team that's overdue, so to speak, for a playoff win, gets it, you know, like 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 St. Louis. You know, a, a team that's, you know, ov overdue for it. And, you know, I mean, the, the Blues, you know, they're primed. You know, they, they, they don't score a lot, but they've got... Sick defense, you know, they've got really good defense, um, you know, and, and they do have a sharpshooter in Tarasenko So, you know, I mean Just thinking about that itself um, You know, I, I believe the Blues can overtake the Hawks um, You know, other than Kane, the, the, the Hawks don't really have a lot of scoring uh, You know, they got Panarin, but Panarin is Kane's buddy, so to speak And after that, they don't have a lot um, and Corey Crawford isn't an all-world goaltender. So, um, that's that. Blues in seven. Ducks and Preds, I've got the Ducks in six. The Ducks have, have it figured out now. You know, they started slow, but now they're, they've been playing playoff hockey for the past two months. So, they're, they're not going to change the way they play all of a sudden just because you're in the playoffs now. Uh, the Preds are just simply not there yet. You know, they, they had a decent year, but they're just, the Predators just simply aren't good enough to overtake a team like the Anaheim Ducks who have been this, in this position before. And, uh, you know, Pecorino, he didn't have a great year to begin with. So, you know, I, I don't see the, the Preds getting past the Ducks at all. So, Ducks in six. Sharks and Kings, I say the Kings in five. San Jose is good on the road, but they can't win at home. And they got to beat L.A. in L.A. You know, they might be good on the road, but L.A. is a tough place to win. It really is, because the L.A. is extremely good at home. So, you know, that's going to be a tough sell for the Sharks. So, Kings and Kings and uh, Kings and five games. Caps and Flyers. Now, I've got the Caps in five. They can score. The Caps can light you up eight goals that they want to. I mean, the Caps are that good. You know, they got a hell of a team. And the Flyers just aren't there yet. You know, they, Shane Goss is bare. You know, he, he's a great addition to them. But he won't, he won't be good enough. To step forward and take uh, take the Flyers on his back in the playoffs. He's a rookie. Giroux, Voracek, they're just not good enough. With the support cast that they have in Philly with Simmons, uh, you know, guys like that, to overtake a team like Ovi, Kuznetsov, you know, Backstrom, all those type of guys that the Caps have, Burakovsky, you know, the, the Caps, like I said, they can score at will. The Caps take that series in five. The New York Rangers and the Pens. I've got the Pens in six. The Pens are just starting to roll now. Yeah, they've, they've got Malkin Hurt, but they've also got the, one of the best players in the entire world in Sidney Crosby. They've got Chris Letang. They've got Marc-Andre Fleury. Yeah, the Rangers have Lundqvist, but the Rangers, really, they don't have a whole lot after that. You know, I mean, Rick Nash is overpaid, and, you know, for $8 bucks a year, he only puts up 50, 60 points a year. Ryan McDonough, you know, him being hurt, that's a major, major loss on their back end. You know, they, like I said, they, they do have King Henrik, but that's not going to get him past the Pens. Pens in six. 
The Panthers and the Islanders. I, I've got the Panthers in six. I like the Islanders. I like Kyle Ocpozo. I like Tavares. I like Halak. You know, I, I like a lot of their good players. You know, but the Panthers have Yager, for starters. He's got tons and tons of playoff experience. And Yager is mentoring the young guys in Florida. I would watch out for the Panthers, to be honest. The, the, the entire playoffs. I, w I would watch out for the Panthers. All right? I mean, and they've also got Roberto Luongo, who has a playoff experience as well. So, led by Bobby Lou and Yager, I would look out for the Panthers, even against the Islanders, and with that being said, for throughout the whole playoffs, depending on how far the Panthers get. All right? Panthers and six. The Wings and Lightning. Now, I've got Tampa in six. Uh, you know, just sim simply because Detroit, you know, they, they struggled for part of the year. Then they were good. Then they struggled. Then they were good. Then, you know, they were on and off. The, 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 the light switch was on and off all year long with Detroit. Um, the, Detroit, they, 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 they started to, to, to play decently, you know, by the end of the year. And that's how they were able to make it. But they were in still, they were still in tight, you know. Uh, uh. I think the loss of Babcock, it does affect them a little bit. But at the same time, you know, guys like Zetterberg and, and Datsuk, they're getting up there in age. You know, they're, they're not the young guys that they once were. And, you know, Tampa can Tampa learned, in my opinion, last season, watching them in the playoffs last year in the spring. You know, Tampa, in my opinion, they figured out how to win those close battles, how to win those one nothing 2 one 3 2 games. So I, I think Tampa has this series in six. Um, you know, Stan Close is obviously a big, big loss in their offense. But I think Tampa can find a way to rally around that and beat the Wings. All right? Now, my Stanley Cup champion pick, I've got Washington from the east. And I've got Anaheim from the west. But I have Washington over Anaheim in seven games. So take it for what it's worth. Let me know your playoff picks down below for the first round. And who, who, do you, who would you like to win the Cup this year? This is Three Points Dave for BeerLeagueHeroes.com signing off. Have a good night.